Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today we're talking about Harmony OS. Well, you probably have heard about Harmony OS, but have you seen it in action? The Huawei MatePad 11 is the first device running Harmony OS. And today this video will not only talk about the tablet, we'll also talk about Harmony OS. I'll show you some of the features right now and we'll talk about the possible features in the future. So let's go and let's check it out. Alright guys, so there we go, here's the Huawei MatePad 11, Huawei's latest tablet coming with a Snapdragon 865, 6GB of RAM and while well, it's a very smooth and fast tablet for all kinds of things from office work to gaming. And well, to quickly show you the performance, we'll play a game, you can also connect Bluetooth gamepads, I use for instance a PlayStation 5 controller and let's quickly hit up Asphalt 9 so I can show you the gaming experience. Now the Huawei MatePad 11 is not only a great office tablet or multimedia tablet because it has got a really nice screen and great speakers for watching movies, it is also really nice for gaming. We have a nice performance 120Hz display, controller support and gaming on it is a lot of fun. But also working on it is really amazing and one of my favorite features is Huawei Share. So let me quickly show you that. Now Huawei Share is for me for my work really amazing as it allows me to share things like pictures or video directly from my smartphone to the tablet or to my matebook and all I have to do is just go to Huawei Share, tap here at the tablet and boom it's sending the file from the smartphone to the tablet so it's really fast as you can see and then you just have to scroll down here received files then um, here I sent some videos, I sent some pictures and I can directly edit them on the tablet. So that's really amazing. But Harmony OS can actually do much more than those basic things. And let's dig a little bit deeper into Harmony OS and let's check out the features. All right, guys, so there we go. Here's the Huawei MatePad 11 running Harmony OS. And I'll use the pen because it's much more convenient and my finger's not in the way. So, well, first of all, let's go to the settings about the tablet. As you can see, it's running Harmony OS currently in the version 2.0 and as you can see the tablet has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, 6 gigabytes of RAM so it's very powerful but Harmony OS can run on many devices. It can run on um, smart home devices, smart watches with um, only 128 kilobytes of RAM but also on smartphones above 4 gigabytes of RAM so it's not only a skin on top of Android, it basically really depends on which device you're using. Now let me quickly show you what kind of features are new. Now, first of all, I want to get started with maybe the not very obvious changes. And this is, for instance, if you have a look here at the alarm clock and how um, the style is themed. As you can see, white, black and gray shades, which is very minimalistic. And also you have um, really nice tones, really nice fonts. And what's really smooth are the transition. This is called a magnet motion design. Basically, it mimics kind of how things in the world um, move. So very smooth, fast, with really cool transitions. And yeah, I have to say, um, this UI is really fluid. So I've seen a lot of tablets, but this is really next level smooth. And the reason also why they call it Harmony OS to make everything more harmonized. And well, as you can see, I'm on the home screen now. My home screen really sucks. I'm terrible in those things, but you can organize it really, really nicely with a lot of widgets. For instance, um, if you just pinch out here, then you can go to widgets and you have really many widgets. Like you can have all your emails here in a widget. You can have your calendar in one widget and you can organize it really well. Another thing that's new um, is this bar here at the bottom, which basically shows your um, frequent used apps right over here. So that are basically the most frequent used apps based on your user analyzers. And on the right side, we have the recently used apps. So that makes it kind of easy to see all kind of information you need by just looking at the screen and not searching and digging for information, which I think is kind of convenient. It's also really easy to create all those widgets and organize your home screen. For instance, if you just um, tap and hold on an app like the calendar, you can go to snippets, then you choose the one that you like the most, like this one here, and then you can add it to the home screen. And here, for instance, you can see your calendar, you can jump right in. So it's actually a really neat user interface. Now let's check something that's probably more interesting for you, which is not UI based. And this is, for instance, um, the super device. Well, right over here, as you can see, if it detects any other device on um, the network or close to you, you can actually connect to it. So this is basically how to integrate all your Huawei devices into one device. And this is really, really amazing. 
So I will now just quickly connect to my Huawei MateBook and once connected I can just connect to the MateBook with um, a single tap here on the screen. So let's just connect to the MateBook and let's check this out. So I just have to allow on the MateBook and we are connected. So right over here you can see now that um, the laptop is connected um, to the super device which is the tablet right now and let's see what we can actually do with it. All right, everything connected and we can now share the same gallery. We can actually push files from the tablet to the computer or back. And also, for instance, here you see we're connected to the laptop and you can start recording your computer screen. Now for sure for all those things you kind of need a permission from the computer so you can just not connect to another Huawei device that's probably not yours. But um, what's really cool right now is I can for instance um, see the screen of my computer right over here and record it actually wirelessly. So for making videos, um, this is for me actually kind of interesting for making tutorial videos and stuff like that and a really really cool feature. Now let's connect the Huawei FreeBuds 4 and let's see how that works. As you can see, really neat animation. So they really work on the whole ecosystem that everything connects seamlessly. And as you can see, um, I just open them up, press the buttons, it detects it automatically. You don't need to go to the Bluetooth settings or whatever. So it's really, really smooth. All right, um, the Huawei FreeBuds 4 are connected. By the way, um, the headphones are really, really good. And here you can see now super device. Huawei FreeBud 4. So the audio output has been switched to the Huawei FreeBuds 4. And yeah, um, it's really amazing how you can control all your devices right over here. So here you see in the middle the super device, which is right now the tablet. And here the closest one, so that works closest with on the tablet, is um, the Huawei FreeBuds 4. And if you have more devices, then you will see them around here. And this is actually what Richard Yu has um, shown in the presentations about Harmon US. You've seen that animation already with the whole ecosystem around a super device, which is really, really cool. Now let's add another device to the tablet, my Huawei Mate 40 Pro. So we swipe down here. So here you have the new control center I've told you. We have super device right over here and we have a few toggles in here. And um, there are some new things like ebook mode, which you've probably not seen for now, but the rest is pretty much like on other Huawei devices. And there's also this multi-screen collaboration icon right, right over here. If you open them up, um, you can actually connect your phone. So you need to enable Bluetooth on the phone, so that's really important. So Bluetooth, we switch it on, we close it, and then you can see instantly when I've activated Bluetooth that I can now connect to the MatePad and boom, we are connected. So um, in a second, we should actually see the screen of the smartphone on the tablet. So there we go, it's connecting and yeah, um, Let's see, connect it, and there we go, there is the screen. And as you can see, there is only very little latency. For, for sure there is latency because it's screen sharing everything here. But um, what's really cool is that you can also operate the screen on the tablet. That means all the actions you do on the tablet, um, it will actually also do on the smartphone. And this is something which is really amazing. For instance, you can just leave your smartphone here on the side and um, write text messages with someone so you don't need to take your smartphone, watch a movie right over here, type anything which is really cool. And also the inputs um, are across all the devices. For instance, if we open up the notepad which is right over here, so we're gonna add a note and there we go, we type something here on um, the keyboard of the MatePad. It will actually type um, it also on the smartphone and you can save all the notes across all the devices, which is really, really an amazing feature. But not only that, it's also really nice if you want to copy files from your smartphone onto the tablet. So yeah, that's really cool. And if you minimize that, um, you get a little bubble which you can drag around the screen edges and it will just stick to them. And if you want to open it up, then you just tap it once and it opens up the smartphone screen. And well, um, the display of the smartphone turns off after some while, but um, you can fully control it um, here on the tablet. But just if it is locked, you have to um, manually unlock the phone in order to regain access. But really, really amazing. The latency is also really low. You can directly open up pictures from the smartphone to check them out. For instance, I took some thermal images from um, my Nintendo 64 and I can just start editing them right over here also with the M pencil and I can even make this bigger. So there we go. Then you have here the full screen to check it out, which is really, really cool. 
So um, that's regarding um, working together with the smartphone, but let's see how you can utilize um, the tablet to work together with your matebook. And that's the really cool thing you're gonna see. And guys, there we go. So as you can see right now, we're in the mirroring mode. That means we have the same screen on both devices. This can be really useful if you want to show something to people. Now what's really cool is that the interaction works like just on TeamViewer, for instance. You do something on the tablet and and it does it automatically, so at the same time on um, the laptop. So double tap here to open the folder, and as you can see, that works really good. Now the extend mode is much more interesting for me because it gives me more screen space. So well, um, I can just put icons now here on the secondary screen. I can um, just drag um, yeah, windows to the other screen, which is really, really convenient. So you can watch a movie right over here, work here, or open a chat on the other window. Really, really amazing. And you don't need to have a secondary screen. Now the collaborate mode is even more interesting because it allows a lot of interaction and also copying files between the tablet and um, the laptop. So just like on a secondary screen, you can use the pointer to go to the tablet and control it. And this is really smooth without any delay. So this is really Really, really crazy how fast this is. So we'll now open up here the gallery and now we can drag and drop pictures to um, the computer. So you just um, touch it, you hold it and then you just uh, drag and drop it to the computer. So it's now copying the file and the file is right over here and you can start opening it up in Photoshop or whatever. So this is a really, really amazing feature. And basically the main key feature of Harmony OS is not only a UI based thing that it's nicer, smoother, has better memory management. It's also about um, the interaction of other devices and how they work together. And I think they did a really good job on that. Now, something that was really mind blowing for me is how you could use it to actually make creative content. Let's say you're a graphic designer and you like drawing on the tablet, but you don't have Photoshop on the tablet or some app, and it's just much better on the computer. Then you can just use the tablet as input for the computer. So um, we're now using screen mirroring mode and I can use the pen here to draw on the picture and you will see it basically draws in paint, just imagine this is Photoshop, but I actually draw it on the tablet. And this is really, really amazing, especially for graphic designers. So as you see, most of the devices work together and it's even possible to connect um, the Huawei smartwatches to the tablet and actually start a workout here. Um, you can track your activity and you get the instructions on the tablet and stuff like that. So it's really, really interesting. Now, something you might have not seen or have seen already um, if you own a Huawei device is the um, Huawei Assistant. So if you scroll here to the left, you actually get the Huawei Assistant when you're logged in. So here, for instance, you can do many, many things, many shortcuts. You see a personalized news feed. You have your calendar right over here, top apps, weather. You can also customize all that, which is really, really interesting. And last but not least, let's talk about the app gallery. App Gallery is improving, guys. So um, yeah, um, it has a refreshed look. And as you can see, um, there are many local apps already, some big apps like Tinder, Amazon Shopping. So it's growing, but this will take some more time to be really on the level of other app stores. But still, it's doing already a really good job. And um, web pages is also something I wanted to mention because the memory management, the performance optimization is really good. So um, they load as you scroll. So if we just refresh this, this is really fast as you can see. So web browsing the web here on the tablet is really a lot of fun. So it's really, really super smooth. All right, so that's Harmony OS on the tablet, a little bit of the integration between the devices, the free buds, um, the phone, the, the uh, matebook. So all in all works really good, but also let me know your opinion on that down below. All right, guys, so this is how Harmony OS looks right now, but now a little bit of real talk. So where are we right now? Now, right now, um, Harmony OS runs on top of Android open source project. That's why there is no Google services integrated. You have the Huawei app gallery where you can download all the applications, the HMS core, and all this is growing. But Harmony OS is much more than just a skin on top of Android. It's a lot of optimization and Huawei is really focusing on the long-term performance of the devices. So you probably know that many devices get slower over the time when they get new updates and stuff like that. But the memory management and many things on Huawei devices on Harmony OS are really improved so that they keep being fast also um, on a longer period. 
But what's also really important for Huawei seems to be the integration of other devices into their ecosystem. So well, um, as you might know, Huawei is not only producing smartphones or tablets, they're making smartwatches, they're making headphones, they're making um, intelligent speakers for your home and many, many more devices. Also this year, I think there will be a lot of new Huawei devices all around household electronics and much more. So um, it really makes sense to have an operating system where you can have a master device kind of to control all the devices, where you have a seamless integration. And I think that's a really smart step to go into this direction of a smart home ecosystem. So uh, because, um, for instance, if you buy a Huawei device, then also you, you probably want other Huawei devices around in your home because it's so easy to control them. And this is where you really push and focus on that topic. And I think it's also really cool because um, that system, what you have seen here on in Harmon US, um, makes it really easy to connect to other devices. For instance, if you have um, a mate book and you have a tablet, you can use it as a secondary screen. Um, you can easily transport um, data from your smartphone to the tablet or to the computer and this is all wireless and the software integration is really really good. Um, I just want to see what happens next with the HMS core, with the app gallery, if really more apps are coming there, if they really manage to keep up with Google and all the big players, that could be kind of interesting. But I think Harmon US is definitely another option in the market and they will grow. So I'm really excited to see what the future will bring. Also, um, I just showed you some basic features today, but maybe I'm flying to Poland because there they have a Harmon US experience zone and I'm really excited to see what I can already try out there. As you might know, I have a few Huawei devices here, but not all those um, devices like SoundX or whatever Huawei has. So it would be really cool to see the integration of other products in this system. Alrighty guys, so that were just my two cents on this whole Huawei Harmon US story. I think there's a long way to go, but they already covered some ground. So kind of interesting. If you liked it, also make sure to like this video. And if you want to see more videos, then don't forget to subscribe. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. So have a nice day and bye.